Uh, I'm with, uh, uh, my, my name is Matt Sweeney and I'm with Dave Harrington from Dark Side. And uh, uh, meeting for the first time. Yes, indeed. Uh, did you always play with all these pedals? Um, this is, you know, probably more than a decade in the works. Really? Um, I mean, I, when I first started, I mean, the first instrument I was serious about was actually not the guitar, was bass. I grew up being a jazz bass player. Sick. But I was like the kid who would take his upright bass with the pickup and plug it into a fuzz pedal right, when right, I was right. 10 or whatever. So, so when you switch over to guitar, you, you, you had a full, you had a pretty strong, decent understanding. I mean, I've been playing, I've been playing guitar, you know, my whole life. I mean, as right. my whole musical life. Right, um, right. And so when I got into college, I started experimenting with electronics and playing keyboards and, you know, and picking up the guitar. But I never played guitar in a band until, you know, three, four years ago. Mm. Is, there a th is there a place where your hand s seems to find itself going when, when, when you pick up a, a guitar? Are there little, are there little yeah, things? Yeah, totally. And what, is, what, like, what are the they're like, there's like two or three things that I always, like, mm, best G. chord ever. Yeah, G yeah. with a D on the top. Yeah. <laughs> Inevitably yeah. during sound check, yeah, yeah. I'll play that. Yeah. I mean, I, for me, it's like there are certain, for like when I'm just like doing sound checks or playing at home or whatever, it's like, I, just, I, I love playing that kind of slow, Frizzellian country stuff. So like I play. open chords all day. Yeah. You know? And he's got the best turnaround, one of my favorite turnarounds. Just right up the scale, I don't know how How's he did it. <laughs> It's just like A, B, C, and then like a D9, What's that? D, and then home. That's great. Do you have anything that you're working on right now? Any unheard things that kids could steal and then write their own songs to and completely fuck you over? Just but. like one of my tricks? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, but I, mean, I, I don't know. Uh, do, do, you, do you have anything? Right, any any little I mean, for me, little bit of business. Well, or how does it work? My bit of business mm -hmm. is for you know in dark side is you know figuring out how to like cut through and take up space at the same time. So like it's kind of surfing this board mm. is kind of really what I've been doing for the most part. I mean, my my technique stuff is like stuff that I've cribbed from my favorite people, like who are mostly weirdly like kind of s just left of center jazz guys, like, like Bill Frizzell, mm, who we're talking mm -hmm. about, and mm. uh, David Torn, guys like that. What, um, like, what would be a thing that Frizzell? Well, it's the way that, so like for me, it's like the way that Frizzell just like lets the notes ring and mm -hmm. just listens, and we were talking about listening, just like, you know, and he'll just play big open chords, you know, and that kind of stuff. Mm. But then for me, it's passing that stuff through my world to make it kind of fit and take up space without playing a thousand notes at once. Right. And then, you know, my looping thing that I've been working on, where I can have this little mod on my guitar, where I can be doing stuff over here, and I'm catching a loop, Jesus. and then it goes like, nothing's happening, and then I bring back the thing from a minute or two minutes ago, and trying to like, do this kind of soundscapey stuff. That's amazing. Um, that's what I've been really kind of honing in on on tour, and you know. When did you start getting decent at that? As far as being able to catch loops and stuff like that. Um, you know, it's like this board used to be like this big, mm -hmm. and you know, each of these, you know, without sounding like there's not that much gravitas to it, but they're all their own little instruments. And sure. So the better I get with one, then it can kind of get on the. It earns its way onto the board when I know what it's going to do. Um, for, for a dude like me, what would be a good place to start? I'll I mean, not to just do product placement, so I won't, s <laughs> but, no, but this green, this green thing is like my favorite thing in the world. And, and that's, the, that's the loop pedal. That's the loop pedal. I actually had my guy at Main Drag mod my guitar so that I'm controlling the volume of the loop with this other knob so oh. I can do stuff like, like me cooking along and... And then I f kind of forget about it, and I keep going, and I put it in reverse, and I send it up an octave, and then I kind of go like, bring back the other thing. 
so that that's kind of my secret. That's one of my secret secret that's tricks. Rad. But so much of what we do is electronic that this has kind of been like the mission for me is to kind of, you know, have the moments that are guitaristic be truly guitaristic because that's what I love. I mean, I, you sure. know, when we were jamming before, like right. I'm like playing Dwayne Allman licks. Right, you right, know, yeah, it's yeah. like pretty straight up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when it's not that, I want it to be something really alien. Right, right. My favorite guitar players are the ones who are either totally experimentalists or are just straight true down. to the yeah. fucking thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what would you tell? Somebody who's like, oh, I don't like electronic music, I like guitar. You know, like, or, or like, you know, like, like, I like guitar music, electronic music is somehow not. Yeah, the, I mean, I think it's like, it's the, I didn't come, you know, I, I learned my way into mm -hmm. electronic music mm -hmm. from getting this great gig that turned out to be more like a, a jazz gig or an improvisational gig than like an electronic whatever that idea is of the electronic music. To me, that's just kind of like, that's like saying, I don't like rock and roll. Right. It's like, well, there might be that's, a, that's a lot. That's a pretty big thing to <laughs> Not say. To like, you yeah. know, it's like, if you really, really don't like Brian Eno and Kraftwerk right. and, you know, yeah. Fortet and David Guetta, if that's a kind of a spectrum, mm -hmm, then mm -hmm. like, okay, fine. Yeah. But like, I think that um, it's kind of like not liking pizza. It's kind of like not liking pizza. It's like <laughs> you know, unless you're like allergic to it, unless right. you can't eat cheese, like you yeah. know, you'll find the topping you like. Yeah. I mean, there's so <laughs> much. There's so much. It's such a huge umbrella at this point that right. like you know. Or, or and I guess conversely, how would you talk to somebody who's? Or I mean, I don't know because I'm not in this world. But is there a, a feeling of guitar being an archaic instrument fr from the electronic side? I mean, I don't, I mean, I mean not in the... It's just such negative thinking, but still. It's, yeah, well, it's the, kind, it's the kind of stuff that gets thrown around a little bit, I guess. But, like, people say stuff about, like, oh, guitar and electronic music for what we do. But we're not really thinking about it that way. Like, right. there's no calculation with us. It's right. like, we're two guys who do, you know, we, you know, he does more than just make beats, and mm. I do more than just play guitar. Right. You know, we do what we like. You know, right. it's not, right, right, right. <laughs> it's kind of, like, right there. Right, there's right. not a lot of planning or calculation it's like this is what we like to do and we're going to do it as best as we can it's very simple in a way yeah what's this little blue guy I was um this is i forget who there's this somebody i think they're based in san francisco they make these little controller boxes and i have mine hooked up to um this is, is that a, is, that's like a bypass e is it a bypass no it's um it's i have it hooked up as a kind of an like i put it in the expression pedal slot so it'll go, well, I mean, what this, on this setting I have, it does this thing. Or I have this big washy reverb drone thing, and then I go And it changes the size of the room, and then it's like chilling out, and I can keep droning away. And then I go Bust. So, and I have it set to do different stuff depending on the patch I'm in here. You know, like this one, I can go. As, it's kind of a freeze. So I do like side, I kind of like, sometimes I do like fake side chain, like. That kind of stuff. Did Adrian Ballou or Robert Fripp make yeah, an impression on you? Totally. Yeah, totally. Um, uh, in the Court of the Crimson King, I used to bike to school, stop in Central, true story, I used to bike to school, stop in Central Park, and I would listen to like with the big headphones, which my poor mother would never want to know this. That I was biking around the streets of New York with my headphones on, yeah, but I would leave, go across, blasting King, King Crimson. Just when you get to the halfway point of the record, where it chills out for a little while, yeah. stop in Central Park, give myself ten minutes, then go to school. I did it for like a year. Wow. I love that record. That's amazing. Could could you do a t could you, could you give an example of a of a of a frippy thing? Sure. Awesome. 